How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. It's your host Rising Oblivion. Today guys we're going to be talking about the SMT5 update 1.02. So this is going to be the first major update for SMT5 and there's a couple of different things here that they have changed about the game. Some brand new settings, some bug fixes, and some actual reworks of some different uh, places in the game. One specifically is going to be reworked and some of you might like it, some of you might not, but let's just go ahead and just jump into some of the new f fixes that they have done, that they have put into the settings of this game to sort of help you out when it comes to some more quality of life changes that you can now apply to this game. So I'm going to pull up this picture here to give you a little bit of a point of reference when it comes to what I'm talking about here. So there are two brand new settings that you can now use within SMT5 with update 1.02 and that is going to be the camera angle views and the screen brightness. So whenever I was playing this game I really didn't have such a big problem with the brightness of the game but the camera angles every once in a while I would have some issues with because certain demons could sneak up behind me get me super easily without me be like even knowing that they were like anywhere close to me at all and finding some of the mine ones also as well was kind of hard to find because they would be marked on the map but the camera angle just wasn't working just right and I couldn't quite get to see exactly what it's you know sort of showing but not only that having these three different settings here we have more just view of the game in general it's a wider view so the far left we have the default settings so that's what we've been playing the game at pretty much this whole time the metal setting and then the even fuller out wider setting so the reason why i think they have these different settings is because i think the game just depending on if you're having it on handheld or having it on a monitor i think it sort of drastically changes the camera angle and same thing with the brightness but we'll get to that in a second but when it comes to the camera angles for like a monitor or on the handheld i think having it on the default setting for like handheld i think that makes a lot more sense because you kind of want it to be a bit closer you need to be able to see details like your character and things closer up a little bit better because you're going to be seeing it so much smaller, you kind of need it blown up for you to be able to see it. However, if you're playing it on a monitor or something like that, you're blowing it up really big and you're seeing almost too much detail. You need to zoom the camera out because you're seeing things so much closer than what you actually need to be able to see them on. I played this game on a monitor the whole time and there were a couple different times when I noticed the camera angle really sucked. Like I said, finding the Maimons and also finding some of the other stuff in the game, like the treasures and things like that, it was kind of hard to find at times, and definitely would have been a lot easier. Of course, I did find them all eventually, it just would have been a little bit nicer, and also just being able to see the different demons and having a wider field of view is just nice in order just to, to see the game in general, and all of its beauty. Moving on over to the screen brightness. Now, I never really had a problem with brightness, but when you see these three pictures put together, you can kind of get a bit of scale here. On the max, on the way on the right, I think that's way too much, and then all the way at the left, I think that's kind of not enough, and then right in the middle, though, is the default setting. So, that's what we've been kind of seeing this whole time for the game. I'm not sure who really wants it to be darker, I don't feel like the game really needs that. Maybe some places in Dot, it's kind of too bright because of all the reflective, like, sand and stuff like that. Let me know if you've kind of experienced this. I never really had a problem with the brightness. I felt like it was like just perfect, but I didn't really play this on handheld. Maybe on handheld, having a little more brightness would be nicer, or maybe certain people's monitors maybe would have too much blue light or something like that, and it would be a little bit too bright at certain times. I'm not too sure. Let me know where do you guys fit with your preferences here. Are you going to widen out the camera angle? Do you think you're going to even touch the brightness? I know for sure I think I'm going to keep the brightness at the default. If not, I might crank it up just a teeny bit, but the camera angle, I am definitely zooming that out whenever I have it on a monitor. Whenever I have that on my Switch, or I'm just playing it, well it's always on the Switch I guess. Whenever I have it on handheld for the Switch, I might go to like something like middle or something like that because I think it would be a little too much. Um, when it comes to that, but let's move on over to some more changes that's happening within this update So the camera angles the screen brightness those are good quality of life changes But there's also something else that is going to be changing We are having more options in the option settings, which is already going to be there and I'm not 100% sure what it's going to be, but they're going to add even more options there There's also going to be a big change when it comes to the King's Castle third stratum so a lot of people did not like that dungeon a whole lot. I personally didn't mind it. I thought it was a fun dungeon. I didn't really care too much for it, but I love SMT3. It was a very SMT3-esque 
dungeon, I felt like, and I think a lot of people sort of felt like that too. It was a bit of a throwback, even of how, like, blocky looking the place was. It was very SMT3 like, and not a lot of people liked that. They didn't like the platforming, they didn't like the puzzly parts of it. I personally, and the people in my chat know this, I loved it. I thought the King's, you know, castle dungeon was really fun, actually, and I, I enjoyed it quite a bit. You didn't have to find any of the Maimons there, you kind of just went through it like a classic, you know, SMT dungeon, which I really enjoyed about that. But, they're going to be doing some changes to some of the wind gimmicks, they're going to be reduced in the Demon King Castle 3rd Stratum. So, the 3rd Stratum specifically is going to have a reduced amount of the wind gimmicks, so the platforming slash wind gimmicks that would actually shoot you across the map and bring you to different places, they are toning that down. So it's going to be easier to actually get through the third stratum part of that dungeon. It's going to be easier to get through it. You're going to have to do less wind gimmicks to actually get through it, which I think is what most people were complaining about. I don't necessarily think it was all about like the necessarily like the layout of it all. I think it was the wind gimmicks that people were having a hard time with. I'm not sure exactly what part they're talking about when it comes to just the third stratum or what they're going to be fixing exactly for it, but it's going to be reduced. It's going to be easier to get through it, but I never really had a hard time getting through this. The very last one I had tripped up a couple times, but it's sort of a puzzle. It's supposed to be that way. I think they just wanted to make the game be a little more straightforward like the rest of the game was, but I don't know. It felt really unbalanced for me. You had a lot of this easy going through like all of the different places there in Dodge and then once you got to the dungeon it was kind of like the polar opposite so for me personally it just kind of felt nice to be able to experience something like that I don't know let me know what you guys think down below did you guys have a hard time with the King's dungeon I don't know let me know what you think guys down in the comment section below I don't know we'll have to see exactly what they changed maybe it's not really that big of a deal maybe they didn't change a whole lot I have no idea. We're just going to have to check that out when the update, you know, eventually lands. Alright, and last but not least, well, kind of least, in the patch notes they also talk about the classic, and any update you see for a game, even on PlayStation, they do this with their, you know, software updates for the actual, like, user interface and everything else, is minor bug fixes. So, we have the camera angles, the screen brightness, a sort of rework or reducing of the actual wind gimmick puzzles in the King's Castle 3rd Stratum, and we're having some bug fixes as well. So, bug fixes are nice. I never really ran into a whole lot of bugs for this. I never had any visual glitches, never had any actual, like, freezings or anything like that. This game, for the most part, whenever I played it, actually ran very, very smoothly. However, there were some transitioning points where I would lose some frame rates, so maybe they're doing a couple bug fixes with that, trying to help with that frame rate issue. A lot of times it was just in the overworld, but it was, I think, trying just to just load a lot of things in the background, but other than that, I never really experienced anything else, and they might not even be calling that like a bug. I just know I had some slight frame rate issues, nothing big. Um, but I never really ran into any big bugs, so I'm not 100% sure what bugs exactly they're trying to fix for this. But if you were experiencing uh, a bug all the way through your playthrough, maybe go check that now because after the 1.02 update, I guess, or whenever it happens, check out the game, see if that bug is fixed, and report back to this video. I really want to know what bugs people are experiencing and whether or not they're getting fixed because I'd like to know. I definitely would make a video on it, sort of exploiting those things, talking about them, and hopefully getting that up and about to hopefully maybe spread some more to help Atlas sort of know exactly what is wrong with the game, how we can fix it. Games are broken sometimes, maybe not cyberpunk broken, but some have some minor things. You can't test millions and millions of different possible routes and actions whenever you're doing video game testing, so it is good to sort of know what bugs, what glitches are in the game, so we can then report that to the developer, and then they can just easily fix it and have these minor bug fixes like this. So, if you did experience any bugs in the game, some of them might be fixed with this 1.02 fix. Other than that, guys, I think that's going to wrap it up here for the most part. That is basically the 1.02, sort of the first major update, I guess, for SMT5. You can have this, you know, change a good bit of the game, honestly. Camera angles, screen brightness, um, more options, quality of life changes, a sort of reworking, I guess, of the Demon King's Castle, at least at the third stratum part anyway, reducing some of the gimmicks and a bunch of minor bug fixes. So that's basically going to be the 1.02 update. So 
that's that. Let me know, is there something that you would have liked to have had switched in this update? Let me know, do you think these are decent things to be actually changed for this update? Let me know down in the comment section below. What do you think about this update? Do you think it's necessary? Do you like the changes here? I personally think the camera angle is the best thing they could have done for this update, and I am glad that they did that. But um, that's probably the only thing I would actually want to have changed about this game. As far as I see it, this update kind of, for me anyway, as long as they fix maybe the, some of the frame rate issues, this game would be perfect. Um, just for the way it is anyway, just building upon it. But um, I think that's going to be it for this video, guys. Like, comment, subscribe for more content. As always, I will see you on the next video. Thank you all so much for watching.